Charlie, thank you so much for obliging. Uh, my question to you is uh, from the point of view of critical care. Like, you know, uh, our patients, the profile is changing a lot. They are very sick patients and nutrition is the key to good outcomes. So I want your opinion on uh, how we can make it better and what we need to do to make it better to get them out of the ICU. See, it's always better if there's a planned operation. If it's a planned surgery, it's always good to send the patients to the dietitian. Presently, it's happening mainly for bariatric patients, but I think more emphasis has to be there for liver patients also, and CABGs, TKR. So it may take, say, 15 days or one month also, but it's going to help a lot in the prognosis and length of stay of the patients because once a patient's nutrition status is better, the chances of him coming out of the ICUs and hospital also will be better. So a nutritional workup of at least 15 days, 20 days or one month, depending upon <coughs> his nutritional status, is going to make a huge difference. So uh, many a times, uh, of course, sarcopenia is there. Once we hit 40, after that only muscle mass starts deteriorating and for more so for the patients who are Bronco patients or you know, uh, hepatic patients, kidney patients, bariatric patients, they are just fat mass is more but albumin may be very less. So it's good to work on their nutrition profile first for a few days and then take, up, take them up for the procedure which is planned is going to definitely help. And for ICU patients also, making a better combination, individualizing the requirements, going in depth into the history and trying to find proper doing the calculations and Individualizing, tailoring the diet for each patient will definitely help. At least for any patient who is hospitalized, first thing is all to be seen is uh, the VMI of the patient. So there's a certain cutoff limit for the calories and protein for patients who is less than uh, 30 BMI, for the patients more than 30 BMI, because for ventilated obese patient, hypocalorie feeding is required. So based on the situation, probably you can always start with 20 calories and go up to 25 to 35 calories also per kg body weight when it comes to energy and protein depending upon the condition. If it's a renal condition, CKD without not on being on dialysis, so it could be 0.8, sometimes it could be 0.6, but it can go up to 1.2, 1.5 grams per kg body weight also. And based on the BMI, calculations are to be done.